Hello everybody, this is Aubrey Love again doing another video. Um, today we have Creative Enchantments. I actually ordered this a couple days ago. She is on the ball, don't you think? Quick shipping, it was through Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com, all things handmade. I've been following that website for years, sometimes they come out with some really awesome vendors. So, let's take a look. Thank you so much. Enjoy the order, Anna. I will. And isn't this lovely? I just love when they give me business cards. I have a thing for business cards. I collect them. I know. I'm crazy. I could smell this uh, <laughs> inside my mailbox, and that's kind of pleasant considering it's not a happy mailbox. It's kind of gross. So I got clean cotton, and I actually like this, it smells like gardenia, and um, oh, what's that one that, fabric softener with the teddy bear, it smells like that, my grandmother uses that stuff, oh it smells like the summer for me, wash stuff, and I have mellow melon, this is mellow, it kind of reminds me of cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works, I used to love that scent many many years ago and this is what I actually paid for so thank you Anna so much for these lovely samples I will be happy to put them to good use I actually like them um, I ordered berries and cream and this is an extra large tart um, all her stuff is from what I could read is vintage so she can guarantee that the metal on the ring is going to at least be silver and from what I've been seeing with other women's uh, orders, they're getting some really nice rings. And I really hope that I get to find one myself. So here is the lovely lady who crafted all these things. Her name's Anna Williams. And this is her website to contact her. And this is her company. You could just look this up on Etsy under shops and just type in creative enchantment and it pops right up super fast shipping, two day shipping. And as you guys know, I have a small warmer, so I, oh boy, I am going to have a hard time with this one. This thing is huge. Huge. Look how big that is. Oh my goodness. It's a little refreshing to see somebody have a tart that's white. I've been dealing with so many different colors that when I stop with the melting, oh my goodness, they are just wacky colors like tie-dye so oh, I gotta go cut this short my seven month old is trying to crawl around and she's trying to find the Xbox controller from what I can see behind me so I definitely need to take care of that um, if you stay tuned to this video you will see the second half with my reveal it's probably gonna take me all day to melt this I'm probably gonna contact her first to make sure there's no curing time um, it's really hard for me to sometimes keep up with my orders who is soy who is paraffin who's a blend and sometimes if they have soy in it you want to let it sit because as you know curing time it takes at least two weeks for the scent to be more powerful and I really want this to shine so if I have to wait another two weeks then I will but it'll be hard so thank you for watching stay tuned and I will be with you guys shortly hi everybody it's Aubrey Love this thing is so big I just don't know how I'm gonna melt this. Ladies, ladies, I'm telling you, masters at your craft, but um, these are getting way too big for my warmer. My poor little warmer, oh boy. Yeah, oh well. Um, I have a hot plate standing by for this so I can keep transferring it. What I'll do is I'll just move this off here and I've got empty clamshell I can empty the wax into to keep melting. I'm a champ like that. I will keep melting till I find that ring. Um, that would be my suggestion for you ladies. If you don't have the ability to upgrade to a big one yet like me, I know right? Crazy. Um, just make sure you have a cozy warmer plate. I got this at a thrift store for 99 cents. I cannot beat that. So this is going to take me a while, probably a couple hours. But I will be back again. Just want to remind everybody these tarts are really, really big. And I am so excited. The scent so far 
is amazing. It's light and delicate, but it's pretty strong. It's already reached two rooms, and it's barely started melting, so that's good. And my baby's melting down again. Oh, so much fun for seven months, huh? Yeah, yeah, you're doing so good. Yeah. Okay, ladies. Just keep hanging on. I'll be back shortly, hopefully with this thing melted down somewhat to find the ring. Bye, ladies. Okay, welcome back <laughs> for a third time. Guess why it's quiet. I put my baby down, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, so I get to do this. <clears throat> okay, so this took a very long time to melt because it was so big I had to keep stopping and constantly pouring it into something else and continuing melting, but I finally made it, and there it is. It's like really hot. Ooh. I love the smell of wax. This wax reminds me of those lifesavers, the hard candies, the raspberry and creams. I used to have strawberry and orange. Oh my god, I used to eat so many of those. I am so surprised I don't have diabetes from all the sugar that I have consumed as a child. It's kind of scary. I'm just trying to get this open. A little wax inside. It's making my hands slippery again. I got smart and added more piece of towel this time to the mix. So I am prepared. It smells so good in here too, in the bathroom. I really enjoy this now. It's such a fun hobby. You can get the husband involved. And I love jewelry, I always have, so it's so exciting to find surprises. Oh, I was really hoping I got one of these. I think I know what it is, and it's really pretty. condition your skin. I don't know about you ladies, but after you start to dig through these things, you know, hot wax with lovely scents, it kind of leaves your skin softer. I mean, that's my noticing. I've got dish hands bad. I'm constantly washing stuff with you know, seven month old now. Wow, this thing is so stubborn. I might have to like Really? This technique is not working with this type of wax. It is so slippery. No joke. So slippery. I can't even do this with these. And these are really textured. I bought these because they're so textured. Really sorry for the delay. I might have to put the phone down and like cut this open or something. I can't get this. Only one so far that I have. No. There you go. I'm just sorry about that. I failed. I have failed. Oh well. Still got it open. Still get the ring. That's what matters. Sorry about that. I'm trying to use a clean hand here. I got a druzy. Now, how do you think these are kind of interesting? Depending on what type you get. Sometimes you like them, sometimes you don't. This one reminds me of frost. Like a winter ring. There we go. It's supposed to be a size 7, so it should fit my ring finger. And guess what it does? I think I have to focus on that. There. Now it faces us. I'm going to get a good look at that. That definitely needs a good wash in hot dawn water to get all the wax off, but it's a beautiful ring. I love the pear drop. 
And these are supposed to be real silver. So, let's see if I can take a look here. Yep, there it is. 925. All fuzzy like for you guys. So thank you for watching my very long video. I'm so sorry that it was like a three-parter, but babies, unpredictable. What can you do about it? Um, I talked with Anna while I was waiting for this to melt because at first I wanted to wait to see what her reaction was about my request about cure time. And what's so nice about her, which makes her unique because she's the only one who does it, um, soy takes cure time. The longer you let it cure, the better. She does the curing for you. That way when you order it, as soon as you get it, you can melt it. It doesn't need to be waiting for two weeks. And that is kind of nice because a lot of us here, like me, I'm patient. I totally wanted my ring as fast as possible. And I'm really happy that I got one of these. It's my first Ruzi with sparklies in it. That looks kind of like snow. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys order. And make sure you guys do reveals later. Wow, look, I cut my thumb. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.